So when you will send Ether in any contract or any wallet address, there are a couple of methods in Sortie which you can use to transfer the fund. And those three methods we have here in the sortie, the first one we have is transfer, the second one we have is send, and the third one we have call. So let's see in practical each one of these that how exactly it works. Let's follow the general convention, license identifier, we have the pragma sortie version. Let's declare the contract, we'll call it receive ether. And here we have to build the hierarchy. So let me build that. And these are few points I have written which you have to keep in mind. Which function is called? So we have two functions in sortie to receive the fund in the contracts. The first one we have is the fallback and the second one we have is receive. When anybody will send ether into the contract, if message.sender.data is empty, in that scenario, it's going to call this receive function. But when it has some data, it's going to call this fallback function. So when anybody will send any transaction to the normal wallet, it's going to call this function. And that's how you can keep in mind. But when the transaction will have any data, it's going to call this functions. And that's the only thing you have to keep in mind. Now let's declare the function to receive ether in the contract if the message.sender data is empty. So we'll call it receive. It's going to be external type. So anybody can send the ether into the contract and it will become payable. So if you want to receive fund, you have to make it payable. Otherwise, it will not receive fund and it will throw an error. So this is the receive function we have and when we have the data then we have to call this fallback function fallback external payable so it can receive we're going to create a function we'll call get balance public view return and it's going to return the unt which is the amount in ether and here we're going to declare the return the balance of the contract address dot this balance and let's come here let's create another contract we'll call send ether and in that we're going to create a function we'll call send wire transfer method so as i told you we have three method one we have the transfer then we have the send then we have the call so this is the transfer method in that we're going to pass the address and we have to make it payable that address so it can receive fund in that we're going to pass the to the address where we want to send the amount public payable and in that we're going to simply so this method is not recommended to use in your smart contract to transfer the fund we're going to create that two dot transfer we have to use the keyword transfer which is inbuilt keyword in the solid smart contract in that we have to simply pass the value the amount we want to transfer and that's the function we have let's get another function we'll call send wire send so now we're going to use the send method to send the transfer send the fund into the contract so we have to define the address payable to public payable it will always return the boolean value whether the transaction got succeed or fail and this function is no longer recommended to use to transfer the fund Let's call this bool send and that we have to call this to send method and we have to simply pass the value. If it's when successful, then it will become true. If it's false, then we have to display this error message. Simple function we have here, how to send ether via send method. Now let's create a third function, which is a send via call. It will do the same thing at public payables now here we have to so this is the recommended one by most of the advanced developer in the sorority space if you want to send the transfer you have to use the call method so let's call boolean it will say send if and then we have to send the byte data memory we have to call this to call and we have to simply send the value and we have to call this empty functions then we have to check whether the transaction went successfully or not and that's it and that's the thing you have to keep in mind so this is the recommended method which you can use in your contract to send the transfer of ether and hope this makes sense to all of you these are not that complicated very simple function we have written very simple smart contract so this is the entire contract we have written for receive ether and this is the another contract we have for the send ether in that we have all these three methods transfer send and call and here we have defined this receive and fallback and this is for the getting the balance let's deploy the contract this is the only contract we have first we have to deploy this receive one so it can receive the fund and here you can see right now we have zero enter into this contract if we call this balance we'll get the exact amount now we have to deploy the other contract to send the ether into that let's deploy it here we have it succeed and here we have all this method so now what we're going to do is first we're going to send the ether via transfer one and then we have to pass the address so we have to pass the address of the contract we're going to paste it and we want to specify the amount we want to transfer so i want to transfer this amount so let's say i want to send 10 ether and now i can simply call the functions transaction and here because the transaction went successful 
if I close this one and if I come to this transaction receive one here you can see I have the balance 10 if I call this one I'll get the entire and this is in the terms of way so you can see I have 10 ether so it's working fine so this function is working working fine now we have to check the other function so let me close this one we have checked this one now we have to check this send method in that I'm going to transfer the fund let's say close to uh, what amount I can send I can send to ether and I can call this to and the transaction went successfully you can see this is in terms of way now let's call this one I'll want to send something like um, let's send this something I want to say something let's say three and let's do the transfer it's went successful if you come back to the receive ether contract and that you can able to find that this is the amount we have first we sent two then we have sent three if we click on this we'll get the entire amount in terms of a so hope this makes sense that how you can easily able to save send transaction into contract you can do the same thing for the addresses it will both work in the same way when the data is empty it's going to call this receive function and when there is a data the data is not empty it's going to call this fallback so these are the couple of things which you have to keep in mind and with that we are ending this video hope you guys have learned something new if you have still have any confusion and doubt do leave in the comment section i'll try to help you with that with that let's move to the next video